Sometimes a client might want you to make their lips a little bit larger. Now this model's lips look fine, of course, but let's just say they wanted their lips just to be a little bit larger. Here's a technique to do that. So you might be thinking we just go to filter and then liquify and then we zoom in and then use the bloat tool and press the right bracket to make it a little bit larger. You know, you could try that, try to make it larger, but it kind of distorts it a little bit pretty quickly. So we don't want that look where it's distorting it. So I hit cancel. I'm going to show you a better way and we can use liquify in conjunction with this. It's similar to the technique we use to make eyes a little bit larger. So go ahead and choose the lasso tool and just click and drag. And we don't want to, you see this little smile line or whatever, uh, we don't want to include that in it. You do want to go off to the edge a bit. You don't want to go right on the lips or in a little bit of area around it. Alright, so then once we have this selected, we'll feather it. So just go to select and then modify feather. And we'll do 10 pixels for this. And press Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. And that will duplicate it. And you'll see this is what's on the new layer. It's got that feathered soft edge. And then with this top layer selected, press Control T on the PC or Command T on the Mac. That brings up the free transform options. And instead of just us clicking and dragging it like that, I'm hit escape. What we want to do, I'll press Control T again. Um, what we want to do is change it up here to 110. And then check this so the aspect ratio is the same. Then it will make the width and the height in the same proportion. All right. Then click that check mark, and then there's before, there's after, and you'll notice the edge a little bit. We're covering up that area right here. We kind of need some of that back in. So what we can do is add a layer mask on the bottom of the layers panel and paint some nice soft edge brush here. Uh, just make sure your hardness is set to 0% and just click and drag right there. If you just think you need to bring some of the pixels back from the original layer. So there's before, there's after. You can also go to filter. I'll make sure the actual make sure the actual layer selected, not the mask. And go to filter, liquify. And I'm gonna zoom in here so we can see the detail. And if you use the bloat tool. You can really overdo it, but if I press the left bracket, make it a little bit smaller, and just maybe a little bit more form to this. You can also use the warp tool here, forward warp tool. If you click and drag that down, click and drag that up, just slight. It's really easy to overdo, as you can see. So, And if you want to make some areas smaller, instead of the bloat tool, we can use the pucker tool and let's say that'll pucker certain areas in like that. I clicked OK. There's before and there's after. So we can do it a lot more subtly. Again, when you have it selected with the transform, you can, uh, instead of doing 110, you could do 105. Uh, it looks good either way, I think. You can also go to Edit, Transform, and then experiment with some of these options here. Like if you go to Warp, and if you click and drag, you can kind of adjust the shape of the lips as well with the warp free transform. Then you just hit enter or hit the check mark up there. There's before and there's after. So all options there to use when we are adjusting the lips of a portrait model.